If you're watching this video, you're most likely getting ready for a temporary food service event. Well, you're in luck. We've got some helpful hints to make your event set up safe and easy. We know that some of you watching this may have operated in Harford County before, but stay tuned. You might learn something new that will benefit you and your operation. First of all, please remember to submit your application to us 10 days before your event. We greatly appreciate it. Bring enough tables to accommodate all of your equipment, product, and food prep. Store all of your food and equipment off of the ground. Always remember, foods that are prepared in an unlicensed kitchen, such as your home, are not allowed. So, bring your unprepared food to the event in a protected container like this. All cold foods like salads, cut melons, and cheeses should be kept at 41 degrees Fahrenheit or below. Hot foods like chili, hot dogs, and sausage should be kept at 135 degrees Fahrenheit or above. Food that is not held at the right temperature must be discarded. How do you check the holding temperature of your cooked food? Don't do this. Use your metal stem thermometer to check your food's internal temperature. Here is an example of a large container you can use for hand washing station. A turnstile valve allows the water to continuously flow so you can wash both hands together. Your dirty hand washing water must be collected below in a large container. Always remember to wash your hands before putting on a new pair of disposable gloves. Make sure you have hand soap, not hand sanitizer. It's nice to have, but it does not replace hand washing. Also, your paper towels must be dispensed in some fashion to prevent contamination. When storing your single service utensils, always remember to place them with the handles pointed up like so. When storing the customer's napkins, keep them in a clean container. Speaking of clean, Be sure to select tubs or buckets big enough to accommodate the largest piece of equipment you have to clean. Leave some room on your table for there to be equipment to air dry after it has been washed, rinsed, and sanitized. Here is how you use the test strip. Chlorine concentration should be between 50 and 100 parts per million. These two do not belong together. Wiping cloth buckets are a great way to clean surfaces during your event. The solution in the bucket should be the same concentration 
you made for the sanitizer bin of your three compartment sink. We want to take this time to thank you for watching our video. We hope it will help you properly set up your temporary food stand for the health department inspection. If you have any questions about anything you've seen in this video, please contact the Hartford County Health Department at 1-410-877-2300. For a copy of the cooking temperature chart and an equipment checklist, visit our website at harfordcountyhealth.com. Have a safe, healthy, and fun temporary event.